Hey guys, Brandon here from Revolutions TV on another Photoshop tutorial slash product review. This one is going to be on Go Media's Arsenal T-shirt templates, Volume One and Volume Two. Basically, what these do is create a digital design um, of a final how a T-shirt would look if you were to apply your own design to it. So, say you have a client and you have a um, a design ready for print, but you want your client to see on how it's going to look with um, some of the creases and folds in it that you can see. So it's pretty realistic. Um, they included in Volume 1, they are TIF files, which you can just easily import into Photoshop, and they have the layers. And Volume 2 includes PSD files, which I see as more expandable. I mean, I believe GIMP can open them. I'm not too sure. Let me know if I'm wrong or right. Leave a comment. So basically, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Bridge. Here I have the 2.0 series. As you can see, they have many colors. They have blue, brown, green, purple, red, and white. They do not include black because it's a very simple way to get black out of these t-shirts. I'm going to, um, but in 1.0, they do include a black um, project file. So I guess, you know, but with this, you can easily just take off the colors by drop going down to the colors folder and just knock off one of the colors. Knock off the color that you that's currently on it so say I imported the red one just click red and it would click the little eye next to the red and it go away and then it just shows solid black um, 1.0 does include so, does include solid black t-shirt designs so let me go sh go show you what 1.0 looks like so remember this is 2.0 open up the originals 1.0 and here we have these ones there you may think that you see a similarity in them but there is a major difference I'm opening up Photoshop right now and show you so here we have Photoshop. Here is what it looks like if you were just to basically click and drag your design onto a t-shirt. This is just an image I got off Google. The t-shirt, the design on the t-shirt is actually from my friend Jared from Freak Show Apparel and it is a design from my um, band. So this is what it looks like on just regular any just off Google black t-shirt design. I'm just, now I'm going to show you what the 1.0 looks like. So here it is with the 1.0 effect on the Go Media's Arsenal t-shirt templates thing. This is the 1.0. As you can see, it does a very nice job of applying the t-shirt. And so I'm going to show you how you import your, actually get it to look like that. So I'm going to show you both and then we'll get into it. So this is what it looks like on 1.0. You know, it gets the creases in nice. But I actually do not like this method. I really prefer and recommend 2.0. It does much better. And I have it open right here. This one, that current one, the one I just showed you was a TIF. This one that we're looking at now is a PSD. As you can see, it adds light source. The wrinkles look much more realistic along with the design. So this is what I highly recommend. 2.0, and as you can see, this is what I meant by the colors. This was originally, let's just say it was originally blue. That's what it looked like. And then I just click the eye, and then it's a solid black t-shirt. You can go into the shading, and I'll be showing you how to do that in a little bit after we're done looking at how this results comes out. So basically, it's really neat. You know, I like this one better, but I'll show you how to do it in both in case you know you go with 1.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete those two files, so we just get back to the solid T-shirt along with this one. So delete and delete. So here we have in this original image just the design. What we're gonna do is go to our um, T-shirt, the project file. And click on the layer that says your art. As you can see, it has a clipping mask applied to somewhat of like a silhouette of our t-shirt. So make sure you're on your art layer. And then go back into where you have your image. Click and drag it using the move tool. And then just place it on your t-shirt. Go ahead and click OK. Wait for it to load up. And there you go. As you can see, this image is actually pretty high resolution. Um, this template itself is a pretty high resolution image as well, project file. So it's really good if you're working with um, huge file, like say you like trying to make like a big banner or something. These can be expandable in any way. As you can see, I'm at 33.3% right now. So yeah, look, look at that. Right away, we just get our effect. You know, it kind of looks like it's lowered opacity, but that's just how the light shade and shading work. But it is pretty nice on how it came out. We can go into the shading effect. And you can know uh, you can mess with some of these like the highlights. These are what like really make it pop and everything. So I'm just gonna lower that. We have shadows. Those are the creases, I guess. As you can see, if I bring those up, you see more of it. 
So that's pretty cool. They give you that feature in this new one and the previous one they didn't. And if we apply a clipping mask, if we bring this below our your art layer, it will um, make a clipping mask to where underneath it. So if we try to click and drag it off the t-shirt, it just stops. Like it doesn't go off it. It just it's only staying in the t-shirt and the fold area, I believe. Yeah. See, it doesn't go over the fold. So that's really cool. How like you don't have to worry about all that. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with 1.0 in the 1.0 series. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so I can get situated with that. Okay, so now I have just exactly what we were just looking at a little while ago on the 1.0. And we're pretty much just going to do the same thing, but we're going to look at a couple of these features it has in the 1.0 series. As you can see, we still have the shadows, but we do not have all those um, nice highlights and everything, the color shadows. And in this one, we have a mask, not a clip a clip mask. So it's pretty much the same, but a lot... It's not as good as the new one, so I'm just going to show you how to do it in this one in case you decide to purchase this one. So click your image again, drag it over to your um, t-shirt document, go ahead and click OK once again, and then, you know, just free transform it to fit your t-shirt. I'm not really going to make it all nice and perfect for you guys, but, you know, it's how much I care. So... <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't really, if I come off the page, it doesn't come off the t-shirt. I mean, it doesn't, like, stay on the t-shirt. Like, it just falls off. So what you have to do is put this underneath where it says, your, put it above your art. And you're going to have to come down to here. Or first, control, while holding down control, click the layer mask. So you just click control, click. And then while on your art layer, click the layer mask button at the bottom. It looks like a square with a circle in it. Go ahead and click that. And now it looks similar to the one above it. And so, as you see now, when we click and drag it off. Wait, what the heck? Maybe it's inverted? I don't know. I don't know. You know, you had to think of it. I thought that's how you did it, but I guess not. So, I don't know. Um, so, go ahead, you know, guys, go check them out. Go media. I'll have the link in the description. It's a really cool effect. I highly recommend it for anyone that's going to be doing design work for um, clothing. Um, so thanks guys for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.